Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Mega Man 11, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, before we go any further, I notice we have a Pierce Protector we can buy now, because I died multiple times on spikes. So these will be very helpful if you run into stages with lots of spikes, like say, a Wily stage. So I think I'll just load up on some right now. Are you sure? You know, you sure? to save me from myself. Already. Yo, Mega. Can I interest you in some parts? I did buy this after all because I figured I can unlock more parts to buy if I use double gear a lot. This is something you can apply manually, and when you do it, you automatically lose a lot of energy, so you can use your double gear right away. It is a bit risky. And I think this you can buy if you were to overheat quite a bit. Sure this is what you want, the cooling system will be very and helpful. Energy catcher will be pretty good too. Sure this is what you want, buddy. In and certain you stages have where you want more complete. health to appear. Okay, Mega, what'll it be? Are you sure? I should invest in more speed parts too. Are you sure? And with that, let's go to Acid Man. Acid Man does have a pretty cool design. Kind of reminds me of Snake Man. Ready. Look at that spider. Whoa! Okay, I, I thought I would destroy it right then and there. Apparently my shots are not strong enough. Now the gimmick here is that you got a li little bits of liquid. And the liquid will get more dangerous the more acid that gets dumped into it. So, if it, it's blue, it's pretty safe. Yellow, I believe, is the next level of safeness. And then red, and then finally green. I know green is the most dangerous. Where it doesn't kill you, but it does damage you. That thing very much. So this is a level that has a lot of water physics to it. So obviously be on your guard at all times. Especially with certain currents pushing you around. You definitely don't want to get knocked into spikes. But I guess that's where the spike protector comes in handy. Give you a few easy outs if you need them. Thank you. Okay, yellow is like stage two of danger. And luckily you can't shoot the acid balls. So you can keep them from hitting the uh, liquid. Yellow means like it won't damage you right away unless you're in there for a long time. So like yellow, if you're in there for a long time, you will take damage. Red, if you're in there, you'll take damage in less time than you would in yellow. And green, you'll just take damage upon getting in there. So that's what you gotta watch out for the most. As you can see, you're cooling a lot faster. I could use some more health, so I'll take that. Certain junk will be coming out of there, so be extra careful. And it's mostly just scrapped enemies. I don't know if I want to go for that one up. Eh, you know what? I, I can easily. Okay, is it safe to go down if I jump this way? Yes. Huh, did it look like I dabbed? This uh, enemy over here is really tanky. I'm just trying like a mix of everything 
And it seemed that worked. I'm just saving my blocks for Acid Man himself. Oh, okay, well, whatever. It's not like it's Mega Man 1 where I take damage on spikes or die from spikes, even if I have invincibility frames. Okay, red is the next level of danger. Green, pretty much everything can get destroyed, even enemies. Get out of here, you. I have made it unsafe to go in the pool. I don't appreciate that a great deal. Alright, whatever. Ah, I just stood right on a syringe. Yeah, that'll, that'll be pretty bad for tetanus. I don't think Mega Man can get tetanus. Because I hope not. <laughs> That'd be bad. <laughs> now, even though it's red, you don't take damage in this liquid just because you're in there. Okay, this is pretty dangerous. Speed gear! That made things a little easier. Because, goddamn, that would have been rough to do that without speed gear. Had to have really good timing for it. Okay. This is not bad. Once this guy is done. Ooh, okay. Careful. Done. See, I know what I'm doing when it comes to platformers. To a degree. Oh god, this is some, uh, V's shit. Also known as B-B-B-B-B-B-B. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna hit it. That even kills all the spiders. Ah, damn. See, you get hurt when you get in there immediately. God, this music is so good. <laughs> All right, let me get my blocks ready. Where my blocks at? You ruined my new concoction. I'll melt you to the last boat. Yeah. Oh, you can try. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'll wait for you to slow down so I can hit you again. The blocks will destroy the barrier on the first hit. So that's what makes the block dropper really good. And goodbye. I just kicked that guy's ass. Id. <laughs> Hard to believe there's only one Robot Master left. This is only the fourth episode. Then again, I go at a pretty good pace. Like, only episode two, I went for three Robot Masters, because the first episode, I did one. Acid Barrier. Okay, I don't think the standard acid barrier hurts enemies unless you're powered up. Like that, see? Super corrosive! <laughs> I mean, just regular corrosive would be bad for me, you know? Because I'm sensitive. Uh, let's go to Impact Man next. He has smaller crowds, but he's doing really well. <laughs> nice alternative. <laughs> Ready. Okay. 
This is basically the construction level. Oh, it's these guys. Now, if I remember correctly, I think it was the torch that is super effective against them. Even when they're blocking, I think, their shields. Okay, I'll save the acid for later because I need that for the boss. Whoa, 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 no, oh, thank you, Beat. You a good burb. Good burb. I should be using the right analog stick to switch because I can get to him faster. But I find I might forget where I need to go. Like this, see? Damn, that was bad. Well, at least he didn't respawn right away. Get out of here, nobody likes you. I say when I run out of good stuff to buy, I'll just switch to energy cancer. That might be for the best. Oh god. God, I remember these from Mega Man 2. Only they're a lot sturdier. And they might come from the sides. At least they telegraph where they're going. Okay, just wait for that to cool down. If it cools down. Yep, that still hurts you. And it lasts a long time. Oops. Didn't do that, but okay. Shoot. These guys mean business. Like, they're very accurate with their... With their pickaxes. It's ridiculous. Was it safe to drop down here? It is. Good. Nice well job there, brah. Too bad you had to die for it. Really? Whatever. Maybe I don't want to destroy you. You ever thought of that? They can throw, like, such a long way. And their pickaxes will always pick where you are. So yeah, I gotta get rid of them. Oh, jeez. Look at them go. At least you can slide under these. Maybe that not, was not the best way to go about it. This guy can be very annoying too. You have to get like really close to be safe from that crane. And you have to hit that part. I guess the torch is pretty good for that. Because it shoots like through the barrier. So are the blocks. There. Is that problem solved? And that's the game to let me know when a checkpoint has been hit. You just look at that flag in the lower left. These guys are very mad annoying. <laughs> That's where the torch really comes in handy. 
No, no, no! Oh. oh, thank you, Beat. You continue to save me from myself. I appreciate that a great deal. And it's good that I can actually jump under the platforms. And I'll still be able to access them if I so choose. I don't think I should bother for all these items. It's my survival that matters. There, we made it through that part. It's not easy, not gonna lie. I feel like this stage is one of those stages that throws a lot at you. So it's definitely not a beginner level in this game. If I were to give my honest opinion. Had to use beat twice. <laughs> oh god, now you gotta deal with these moles on a platform where you had to dodge spikes as well. I don't really think I should charge. Because I'm not gonna shoot at anything for a while. Okay, that was lame. Like, what do you do with that? Oh, thanks for blocking the missiles. Uh, I'll just buy an E-Tank. See, I can easily buy it now. Oh, didn't need that. I'll take... Oops, careful. Uh, low ceilings. Alright, let me get my acid ready. Now I can shoot acid when I have the barrier already up. I think that's what it wants me to do. Now, he does like to shake the ground up a little bit sometimes. So that's how you can disrupt your barrier. By stunning you and causing you to get hit. Oh god, that hurts. There we go, right between the eyes. And that's how it's done. Hard to believe we got eight Robot Masters beaten in only the fourth video. So we should be ready for the Wily stages after this. Pile Driver. That's our new weapon. Okay, now this is actually pretty good against weak enemies. But I imagine against stronger enemies, it might be a liability. It is pretty good for a mid-air dash. And if you hit a wall, you get launched back a little bit. Otto, do you have any idea where Wily's gone to? Uh, he's totally vanished, Mega Buddy. Maybe he decided to turn tail and run. Huh?
What is it, Otto? Uh, there's someone hijacking our signal. C could it be? Indeed, it could. My genius neither runs nor hides. Wily. Light than you, Mega Man. How dare you use my double gear system? Now you've crossed the line, I'll turn you into scrap myself! I'm at point E1685578. Come to my gear fortress, I'll be waiting for you! Gear fortress? That's all we needed. I'm heading out, Dr. Light. Mm. It's time to finish this. Good luck, Mega Man. It's up to you to stop, Dr. Wily. Yes, sir. You can do it, Mega Man! Mega, be careful out there. Okay. Guys, take the meat out of the oven. It's practically burnt. All right, so now we can go to the Wily Fortress, a.k.a. the Gear Fortress. The reactor's running unusually well. Okay, Mega. Yo, Mega! Now, there's nothing else new to buy yet. So I guess I haven't met certain criteria. Okay, Mega. What do we but do? in the meantime, before we go to the Wily Fortress, Are you sure? get some more Are you sure? Already. Good luck out there, Mega. And I guess if I'm ready to take on Wily, I should consider maxing out Are my lives. Sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? And of course, maxing out my E tanks. Are you sure? Are you sure? Luckily, lives are, what, 20% off now? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? There. We should be ready to go now. Of course, some of these parts you can only buy after you beat the game. So with that, let's stop here, and in the next part, we're heading on to the last stretch. See everyone, thanks for watching.